Welcome to this nice, quick, easy to understand Bitcoin technical analysis, where I'm going to be telling you exactly what I am looking at next and the upcoming trade setups. Are we starting off with the management of my current Bitcoin long trade, which was taken after the loss and reclaim of the daily naked point of control? And then that obviously brings us up to current price. I will start off where we left off the last video, which was, of course, a live stream as we were coming and trading at around 57,500. And of course, this was a at the time front run still of the daily naked point of control. And I was explaining during this segment of the chart during around 45 minute live stream why I was expecting lower prices to come. Right. We gave a real deep dive into the order flow. So if you want to see some order flow analysis, uh, liven the time of how we're looking at the charts, analyzing that and making an informed decision of do not long yet. That decision was taken solely from the order flow. And shortly after that live stream ended, we come down, we made new lows, and I was correct with my reading of the order flow. So yeah, go back and check that last live stream if you want that detailed view of how I read that in the time and how, of course, it worked out being correct. After we did make a new low, we actually went down and temporarily temporarily traded below the daily naked point of control. So of course, there's no long trade to be had at that point because we trade down through the level. What we actually done, as you can see here, we go down, I'll go on a lower term time frame, such so as the five minute here. We trade below the level, actually flipping this daily naked point of control into resistance. You can see here, resistance, resistance, breakthrough, okay? And it's on this breakthrough that I'm thinking to myself, okay, we have now seen a bit of a fake out of that daily naked point of control, I'm interested in the back test. Okay, so it's a loss of the level, flips to resistance for a new low. You then get back above to change that market structure. You look for that higher low on the retest for continuation, then making higher highs and higher lows. Okay, looking towards $60,000. So it was on that back test right here at $57,137, the daily naked point of control reclaim that it was where I took this long trade. Entry price to be precise, $57,127. I saw the back test, I liked what I saw, took the long trade, and here we are today, sat in $1,100 profit on that long trade. So, you know, just a few days of trading there, uh, $1,000 profit. I am looking really ideally to take this above 60,000, but there are a few things to be aware of, of why I might potentially not hit that target. Okay. Reason and biggest factor right now is the bearish divergences that we're actually forming on the chart. Okay. So we are making a lower high here, right? But we can see currently within this range, we did have those bearish divergences form and lots of longs opening. Okay. So this is of course, I'm viewing this as weekend price action. We're understanding it's low volume. Of course, I'm here on a Saturday. I'm still taking trades, uh, still looking and preparing myself. But I am, of course, acknowledging weekend does have a lower volume. So I'm not going to pay too much into that. OK, I would still like to see us take out this high and really the psychological $60,000. OK, what we can see more locally here is the I don't really don't want to say this is a triangle <laughs> because it's uh, nothing really perfect. But we are simply building higher lows. OK, so we're building higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. And we do have what we can view as a relatively flat resistance. OK, so these highs back here ever so slight run front run of sixty thousand dollars here another front run of sixty thousands so we can just see that we're clearly being held by that zone of sixty thousand dollars unable to breach above the psychological and as after the first rejection put in on friday night okay for the rest of the weekend thus far we have been building these higher lows so again i cannot really say this is a triangle because it's technically not yet but you can see it's got that type of price action of an ascending triangle higher lows locally flat level of resistance so when i see these types of scenarios what i'm looking for next is one of two things okay of course my preferred scenario would be to take out sixty thousand, okay because i feel that is the easiest trade to be patient on right now because then we look for one of two things right we are either going to see a break of sixty thousand and actually then flip this into support for continuation to the upside OK, and that is why I will always say trade the reaction, because if we break and then back test the support, that is bullish for continuation. Whereas if we break above 60,000, 
Okay, we take out that psychological number and instead of getting the back test, which flips into support, we end up then losing that level once more. That would give us more of a fake out of the triangle scenario. Okay, so that's the, again, this, again, I just say fake out of the triangle, but again, I'm not really saying that this is a perfect triangle right now, of course, but you get the idea what I'm looking at here. Just as, okay, there would not have been a long trade here. Okay, I want to really explain this because it's key to my style of trading. Okay, if we just lose that daily naked point of control and we never got a reclaim, well, of course, I would not have been in the long trade that we're in today. But because we saw a fake out, reclaim, back test, well, that's what gave me my long opportunity. And so, you know, think of that scenario, then think about it up here, up at around the highs. Are we going to get a breakout, fake out, big drop in price? Or will we get the breakthrough, flip that into support, continuation to the upside? Okay, so that is why it's my preferred scenario, because I can make an informed trading decision, just as I did in my last video, where I decided in the time not to long based off the order flow. I'll make another informed decision, should we take these highs, of to compound, because I already am in a short trade from higher, compound into that short trade and look for another drop in price, or look for a reclaim, OK, and again, I would not straight away long a breakout. I would never long a breakout. But if we get a breakout, we then form some consolidation above that and we get a lower term time frame set up. Well, then that's, of course, where I could look for a new trade. But I would not long the breakout. I would be initially looking for a fake out and see if there's a short trade. Again, if we break up there with strength, well, then, of course, bigger targets, OK, still sit at $63,000, OK? But that's going to require a lot of strength going into the CME Open tomorrow and, of course, New York Open uh, the following day. OK, so Monday. So for me, those are going to be key times. And during the weekends, you know, we got this sub level just above us in terms of looking for a dip here. I would have to see more of a significant dip, honestly, back down towards 57K. I'm not that interested in taking a long up here with those bearish divergences forming unless we actually get a break and flip into support. Otherwise, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not interested in a long from here simply because, yeah, I mean, we're, we're at a resistance. We're ever so close to that resistance level. Bearish divergences, well, actually, you know, locally here going into a bit of bullish divergences. You can see how that's kind of mixed signals, though, because of this increase in price, open interest increasing. These bullish divergences are formed on massive open interest decreases. So it's like... Yeah, th this here is um, bullish divergences locally, but it's open interest decreasing, so it's not as strong. Whereas here, we actually had bullish, uh, sorry, the bearish divergences, right, with the lower high on massive open interest increases. So that's what I would pay more attention to. And, and I'm just not as interested in a new long from here. You know, again, I have a long from lower and with the bigger bearish divergences, and um, we're obviously at a resistance zone. I prefer to remain patient for my preferred trade scenario, which would be higher. Look for the fake out. OK, for the short order reclaim, look for higher. And if we do start to drop from here, which, again, I'm perfectly comfortable with. OK, then I would actually wait for a bigger drop once more to test these lows at around 57K. So that's kind of my game plan. That's lower term time frame uh, ideas that I have. Uh, that's what I've got in terms of my current trade management. I will actually be setting a stop loss the way I manage my trades is when I'm at my computer trading here. I don't need to have a hard stop loss. If I go to sleep, I'll place a hard stop loss and I'm about to, uh, you know, actually head to bed very shortly. It's like 10.30 p.m. here. So, uh, yeah, soon I'll be heading to bed. And so I'll place a stop loss there. Uh, I'll stay awake for another hour or so to, to check if we get a nice move. Uh, other than that, I just remind you, we are actually now releasing daily short videos on YouTube. This is not a uh, trading shorts, but they're known as YouTube shorts. Every day now, we're actually releasing a new short. So you can just check that out by coming on to the actual channel itself uh, or clicking the notifications. I think you might get alerted. But yeah, just to be aware, to make you aware, we are now releasing every day a short here on YouTube. Just a quick 30 second video. And also tomorrow, of course, I do have my champions live stream. So tomorrow I will go live in the morning for a champions live stream. That's where I do a higher term time frame analysis, a real look at what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, Elliott Waves. So if you want a macro look on the higher term time frame Elliott Wave count of Bitcoin, OK, so you know exactly what I'm going to be looking for as well in terms of my next big swing trades. That's what I cover in this Champions Weekly Stream. Then on Monday, I'll have a daily update in the morning and I'll have an AMA after that. We're actually having, well, I will be having myself a uh, 
live streams on the members uh, section for the champions next week every day so yeah if you want some live trading from me if you want to see me trading power hours new york opens daily morning updates amas champions live streams for the higher term time frame everything i will be doing next week for you uh, so yeah if you want lots of content from the membership well it's a perfect time to get involved hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this one thank you ever so much and yeah chartchampions.com for more very valuable content. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed this. And now you know exactly what I'm looking for next. So cheers. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.